Resident source conflicts are the most common source of double taxation. So foreign tax credit provisions or double taxation treaties help to mitigate or eliminate double taxation. So in this video, we are going to look at these foreign tax credit provisions like the credit method, the exemption method and the deduction method. Now, let's say we have country X and country Y. Country X practices residence jurisdiction, which means that they will tax the income generated by their residents regardless where their residents are located at. Country Y practices source jurisdiction, which means that they will only charge or apply a tax rate to income generated within its jurisdiction. Now, we have, let's say, Alan here is a citizen and resident of country X and Alan has investments in country Y. So country Y will, is a source jurisdiction, so they will try to, of course, uh, charge taxes on the investment income earned by Alan in their country. Whereas for country X, which is where Alan is a resident of, then country X will try to claim the taxes on the investment income. Both countries will ha uh, have a double tax treaty to address the resident source conflict. Now, for the investment income tax rate, Country X applies a 30% tax rate and Country Y applies a 20% tax rate. So let's say we want to calculate the effective tax rate on the investment income under these three methods. Now, first of all, we'll do the credit method. Now in the credit method, the residence country will reduce the taxpayer's domestic tax liability for taxes paid to a foreign country that is exercising source jurisdiction. Now, under this method, the tax liability will be equals to the greater of, okay, it will be the maximum of the tax liability that is due in the residence country, which is 30%, and in the source country, which is 20%. So this is the greater of will be 30%. Now how it's going to work out is that uh, Alan will have to pay 20% to the source. So Alan will pay 20% to the source country, which is uh, Y, and then the remaining 10%, the remaining 10% will go to X. Okay, so that adds up to 30%. Okay, so that's the effective tax rate paid by Allen under the credit method. Now in the exemption method, the residence country will impose no tax on the foreign source income. So in this case, the tax pay, the taxpayer gets an exemption. So the tax rate will just be the tax rate on the source country. So all these 20% will go to country Y and nothing goes to country X. Now, under the deduction method, the residence country will allow the taxpayer to reduce their taxable income by the amount of tax that is paid to the foreign government, which is country Y here, in respect of the foreign source income. So to calculate the effective tax rate, we will add the two tax rates. So we'll take 30% plus 20%, and then we'll minus uh, the product of 30 and 20. Okay, so that gives us 44%. So this is the effective tax rate under the deduction method. So how do we split this 44%? So first of all, 20% will be paid to country Y. Okay, so we always pay, we always prioritize the source jurisdiction. And then for country X, instead of charging 30%, they will give a discount. So that will the discount here would then reduce the overall the overall tax rate to 24%. Okay, so only 24% will be paid to X. So this 24% is effectively the 30% tax rate and then it is reduced by 20% which is what has been paid to country Y. So that's how we get 24%. Now let's say if I were to change a figure. So uh, for country Y, I will increase the tax rate for investment income to 40%. So how would this affect the result? So under the credit method, again, we take the higher of the two. So that's uh, 30 and 40. So the, the effective tax rate will be 40%. So all the 40% tax will be paid to country Y. Okay, and since it is greater than the tax rate of country X, so you uh, Alan will pay nothing to country X itself. Okay, so effectively that eliminates the double taxation. For the exemption method, the tax rate will be equals to the source country's tax rate, which is 40%. So again, everything goes to Y and nothing goes to country X. For the deduction method, the tax, the effective tax rate will be 30% plus 40%. Then we'll minus the product of the two tax rates. 
So that will be equals to 58%. So how is this paid out? So 40% will go towards country Y. And then the remaining 18% goes to country X. So how do we get this 18% here? It is based on the 30% rate. 30% rate and then we they reduce it by 40%. Okay, which is what has been paid to country Y. So that's how we get 18% here.